Hi everyone, Dora here, uh, and I'm going to show you how to get started coding in the Magic Labs app using the Magic Charm, our programmable accessory. So I have an Magic Charm here actually, so I'll show the results of coding on the Magic Charm. If I turn it on, you can already see that it's waking up and it's ready to be programmed. So what I'm going to show today is how to make uh, this smiley face. And that is sort of the first few taps, steps of coding in the Imagi Charm um, environment and with the Imagi Labs app. So let's get started. Uh, you can see my uh, phone screen actually to the side of me. And so when I open up the app, uh, what you see here is the community feed. So you can see coding projects created by other users. I can, I can scroll through that and you'll be able to see uh, all sorts of fun projects created by others. You can tap on them, you can open them up, and then you will see um, see what's the code behind the project. But before we do that, we'll today actually get started with programming our own uh, project. So if you click on create in um, the nav bar or the tab bar, and then you go on new project, then you'll get a um, a blank screen. That's how you can get started with coding. And that might be a bit intimidating at first, but don't worry. Uh, I'll show you how to get started. So what we're programming here is essentially um, this matrix. Uh, it has eight rows and eight columns. So it's an eight by eight matrix. And every single uh, square essentially here, <laughs> my right, represents an LED on the magic charm. So to create this smiley, face, what we have to do, we have to find sort of the coordinates or the indices um, of these um, LEDs. And so what you see here is the smiley face. So what I will do is get started with its eyes. First, I have to address the matrix and we call this matrix M. And uh, as you can see to my right, the eyes are actually at coordinates or indices 2, 2. I always first have to write the row number and then the column number. So now I just turned on one uh, one eye of um, of the smiley, and I'll do the other one right away. So that is uh, two five, I believe. So the row number is two, and then the column number is five. Then I just debugged my code, which means essentially I'm, I'm searching for bugs or errors in my code. And once it was successful, I can either preview it in the app, and then you will see on the preview that I programmed the two eyes so far, or you can click on upload, and then what happens is that you see um, the connect screen where you can select the image charm that's near you, and near me is um, this blue 73. So I can connect to that, and then right away, you see the two dots programmed onto the image charm. Sweet. So let's continue. Let's finish off um, this smiley face. I'm going to try to be fast, but I mean, it's not so easy to type quickly while talking. So I'm going to start with the lip of the smiley. And I see the row number 5, column 1 is to the left. And then M of mm, 6, 2 is next up. And then I believe it's on the same row. So I'm just, con just going to continue increasing the column numbers. And hmm, let's see. Uh huh. And then I will finish off. Oh, wait. Um, I'm not exactly sure actually where I am and what I can do in that case. I wasn't sure if I still need this one. Uh, M605 equal N65 equals on. But what I can do if I'm not sure <laughs> if I did it perfectly, I just pull up preview and then I will be able to see um, how much I've advanced. And as you can see, I'm just missing that um, right, that one that's fast, <laughs> the corner of the lip of the smiley face. So that is on the fifth row. Um, and what is that? I think the sixth column. So that will be M56 equals on. I can preview it just to make sure that it is um, 
it looks like what I want it to look like. There you go. So I've got the smiley face up. Uh, but because I've also got an Imagine Charm, what I can do is upload it. And once it's successful, you can see uh, that I managed to program onto the Imagine Charm this uh, smiley face that I have pre drawn. So that is pretty much the basics of coding with the Imagine Labs app. And there's a lot more to it, which I will explain in the next videos. But before I, I go or let you go, I'll just show uh, the explore feed again so you can see some other cool projects that are in the community. You can get the Imagilabs app, just going to imagilabs.com and signing up for early access. And soon enough, it will be in the app store as well. And you can get started with coding yourself. So thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, just reach out to Imagilabs on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or going through our website and emailing us. Thank you. Bye.